lies one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. And here's your host. Miss Kim Robinson. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Cheer, cheer. In life, we often do wrong when we tell them to write. Parents must suffice in front of the kids. When they become a baby, they say, do what you did. The generation comes, goes right down the line. Resentment in the heart breeds an unstable mind. When we recognize the damage we've done, how can you be your father when you never raise your son? Brother propped the brakes before it's too late. My daughter was 15 on the first date. We learned from mistakes. He is a revealer. He is 
our director. It's the power in the name of Jesus. It's in his blood. Yes, Lord. It's power in your blood. You give it to those that need it. In Jesus' name, thank you for all you do, Father God. For healing us, for redirecting us, for renewing us. The power of blood of Jesus. How's everybody doing today? I'm pretty sure today is Monday. Welcome to Charles's Corner. Well, as y'all know, we do have freedom awareness on Monday. And on Monday, we have talked about financial freedom from business to marketing, to nonprofit, to real estate, to talk about anything you can use to get the things moving in the right direction. Those who don't know me, I'm Charles McCutcheon. I'm actually walking right now, so y'all going to have to uh, you know, just work with me. I just want to see what I do. But I promise to leave you. How about that? Uh, those of you that touch with me, I'm at Charles M. Stokes at Yahoo.com. That's at Yahoo. So I've been doing this for a little bit of time, and I want to thank Ms. Kenny Young for giving me the opportunity to share my insight of what I've been through and allow me to get other people as well to get on this line. So today, just to do Right now, and I hope you're focusing on 2018 as well. So, with that being said, my focus is 2018. My focus is 2018 and everything that I do right now, working hard to close out my 2017. I want to make sure everybody can hear me. My focus is to close out 2017 the right way, and the only way I know how to close it out the right way is with momentum. And so a lot of people, we kind of take days off now at the end of the year, and we're just going to kind of wait until 2018 hits and then start from there. But my thing is this. I say don't take any days off from now. I mean, I'm even, I know some people are looking at it crazy, like why would you work on that day? I'm working over the holidays. And I only do that because I'm not where I need to be right now, and I'm going to launch, launch into 2018. And some people are going to take the day and I get it. You know, this is the time we, we all could work. A lot of people don't have to work. And so you just want to sit back, watch TV, or get some cocoa, eat some soup and stuff like that. I'm just not that guy. I usually play with McDonald's, so I'm talking about 24 hour type. It's a little bit different, but I work hard to get to the point. And I say a lot of people, when they get to that point that they want to be at, they kind of forget what it took to get to that point. I mean, it took, oh, shoot, for me, a lot of long nights, uh, stand up one, two, sometimes three in the morning. Just like uh, last night, I was up at two in the morning doing some work. And, you know, it's not for everybody. This, this lifestyle of uh, financial freedom is not for everybody, and a lot of people won't get there. And that's only because we choose not to put the work in, and that's just what it is. We just have to deal with that. And I tell everybody, if you uh, have a mentor, you have a plan, and you work in that plan, I'm talking like seriously, no. You know, a lot of people say they don't sleep, and I say that's nonsense. You know, we all sleep. I get it that, you know, we have a no-sleep concept. But for me, you know, you get enough sleep that you need to get. I don't care if it's eight hours. I don't know 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 if it's eight hours. Hey, everything's going to be easy and everything like that. That's not what I'm here to do. I'm here to provide insights. That's all I can do. And give people a roadmap or give you a new pair of glasses so you can see something just a little bit differently. 
that's what I'm doing. People ask me why I do what I do. I give out a lot of information. I don't care what people say. I'm, I'm going to continue to do what I do because, you know, why wouldn't you want to help people? If you have any way, and I do it, let me put a caveat or a twist to it. You know, some people don't really want to be helped, and that's okay if they don't want to be helped. You just you know, move around those people, but keep doing you know, somebody trying to waste your time. You just keep going around those people, and you find out what they're doing. Because there are a lot of hungry people out here. There's a lot of people uh, looking for help. There's a lot of people that just need a handout. Uh, a step in the right direction, a blueprint, or something that would just move them and get them going. And that's what I provide. I get them connected to so many different people because I'm connected to so many different people myself. So it's easier for them to get the right information from the right people, like the, the wrong information from the wrong people that's not really moving. So for me, everybody, uh, for 2018, please have all uh, some sort of business. I don't care what it is. It doesn't matter. And I always say that, and I bring up taxes so much. You know, this is a big tax season for everybody. Everybody gets excited about taxes. And if that's what they choose to do, you know, by all means, do it. Some of us, we do it. Some of us don't get back so we're going to get back to that point, and you know, we keep moving and keep making moves, and that's okay, too. We just use our money during the year to make more money for us. So we invest our money uh, instead of getting it all, all back at one time. We invest during the year to get, you know, more money back because that's a lot more money better than the rest of the year. So that's what we do. That's how we uh, make moves and make stuff happen. What I wanted to do is, if you want to, I would say the biggest thing, like one of the first things you have to look at is time. Time, time, time. And I, 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 I don't care, you know, whatever time you get up in the morning, put down the time from, and I do it in 30 minute increments. And I do it, and, and I don't do it on my phone. Don't do it on my phone. Do it on a piece of paper. No old school, you know, for those who are old school. So you can see, you need to see where your time is going. And when I did it back in the day, I found that most of my time was going towards the TV. And I did it during the time that was Mark Madness. And it was basketball on TV. I was an hour and hour. I was, I was, uh, I, know, I, was I, I distinctly remember on a real day, I was watching about, oh my goodness, I was watching um, probably four or five hours of this TV. Four or five hours of straight TV. Like no breaks and just getting the snacks and chips and stuff like that. That was my lifestyle. And I had to look at that and I found some other people. Sleeping in, I found holes there. Because a lot of people out here, they say they don't have enough time. And it's not that you don't have enough time. It's just that what you're doing with your time is not making enough sense or not making enough dollars. That's the only thing that really matters. Is, you know, are you happy where you are? And for those that are happy, like right now, that you don't need anything else in life, but you're happy right where you are, God bless you. I'm not, this is probably not for you. This is only for those that want more out of life. And, and I get it. And I, I, would, I would venture to say if I told everybody that's listening to this call to raise your hand, if you are 100%, you don't need any more growth in your life, just raise your hand I would, or stand up and I would tell you to just walk out the door. Because I think that, you know, we tend to lie to other people about our situations, but you can't lie to yourself. You can't lie to yourself. I say at least at least we were one on this you know, uh, one of the things I said is time. The other thing is, you know, as far as time is concerned, cut off the T V and do it for two weeks. Two weeks of no T V will not kill you. I will guarantee you that. It will not kill you. You're gonna find out about what's going on in the world. Except if you don't set it and I say that to say, if you're on social 
man that does learn how to make money from it. Because there's no man that everybody on the side of my board should not be making some type of money on social media. We have two hundred seventy five million dollars. And I'm teaching something right now. I'm going to give you all a little snapshot of what I'm teaching. But I'm just asking for free because I don't want people to leave. And that, that's my biggest thing. And our community, uh, our community is, is uh, uh, the best way I can put it is struggling. Put it that way. Our community is struggling, and I think it's struggling for lack of knowledge. We already know that my people will perish. For lack of knowledge, and other people are struggling for a lack of knowledge. And I think it's a lack of knowledge and a lack of willpower to get up and do something. Because as soon as it gets hard, we kind of get up. You know, that's just where we are. We just, well, no, I'm just going to do it next week. You know, and that's just how we are as people. And so let me give you all a snapshot of what I'm, what I'm going to teach. So I'm going to teach within 100 days. Give me 100 days. Within 100 days, I'm going to show anybody how to make at least 4000 per month, not per month, sorry, within that 100 days. So that's going to be over 90 days, you know, three and a half months. So I would say if we had to break it down monthly because we all, all like monthly, monthly, monthly stuff, if we had to break it down monthly, it's over $1,000 a month just from what I'm going to teach, and I'm going to add to that. So if one of the programs is $1,000 a month. Another program is over $1,000 a month. Another program is $1,500 a month. So that's, uh, when I did the numbers, I came up with over $3,700 per month uh, with what I'm going to be teaching uh, people how to do. And it's not taken away from anything that you're doing. You can use your company. Whatever you're doing right now, you can add this to it so you can make more money in your company. So I, I, want, I had to find something that people don't have to lose or use, uh, leave their businesses or anything like that. If your business uh, needs more clientele, this is something that can help you out. If your business needs more money, this is something that can help you out. If your business needs more funding via business credit type, this is something that can help you out. So I wanted to find something that anybody can do, and I'm actually teaching an 11-year-old right now. And I'm going to have uh, have her give a tutorial and, and how she's making money online on automation. So that's one thing I'm going to teach. And my bigger goal is I want people to take that $3,700, and I want you to pay on whatever it is you need to pay on, whether it's a credit card, a bill, uh, uh, your undergrad degree, your graduate degree, your, uh, your pay-for uh, your lab, or pay for something, pay for a business, pay to get your debt down. The goal is, you know, 2018, we need to get the debt down, and then we need to start moving from there. So that's what the main goal of what I'm doing is, to show people, I can show anybody right now how to walk away from a six-figure income. I can show you how to pay down your bills. I can show you how to, when you get to that point to where you can walk away, why you need to do it and why you need to wait. And a lot of people want to walk away, and I say, hold on, wait a second. First you need to get to a certain point. Then you can walk away. And so that's what I'm showing people along this journey. Uh, this journey is crazy. It's, it's amazing, and I'm, it, it's a blessing that I can reach the people like I'm reaching people. I had one guy, he hit me up, and uh, so I already gave you a two points. <laughs> I gave y'all two pointers. One was time, and one was let the TV go. So I gave y'all two pointers, Oh, for the third. So I was speaking to one guy. He was like, Charles, I can't keep up with you, man. You know, first you're doing business credit, and then you're showing people nonprofits, and first you were doing real estate. That's what I was following you for, and then you started going into marketing and all this stuff. So all I did, break it down to him, I said, all I'm doing is breaking down my business and so you don't eat the whole pie at one time, I'm giving you slices of the pie because it all adds up. No business out there can be successful without marketing. No business out there can be successful without money coming into the business. So I started breaking down those steps, and a lot of people, some people got it, and some people was like, I don't get it. And I'm like, well, let me explain something to you. I don't care what it is you're doing. If you're doing real estate, if you want to open up a pharmacy, I don't, it doesn't matter. If you want to be a dentist, 
you're still going to need new clients and you're going to need some type of money coming in. That's just bottom line. So what I broke down is bottom line business. That's all I did. But that correlates to what I'm doing in the real estate world. And then he, and I brought up business credit. And a lot of us do not understand business credit and that we have the ability to get money via our employment identification numbers by getting money based off of, off of our social security numbers. That right there is huge. I'm walking, y'all, so uh, bear with me here. That right there is huge in and of itself to get funded in your company and to be able to understand the marketing piece, not to become a genius, but to be understand, understand the marketing piece so you can always have clientele coming in. My, my thing with everybody, I tell people, if you're in business, now the, the first thing I gave you was, uh, you know, uh, understanding your time, and then the second thing was turning off the TV, and then the, one of the third things is if you are a business owner and you're not utilizing Facebook, I personally think you're losing only because Facebook is one of the biggest mediums we have out there. What I'm going to say right now, 1.8 billion, 2.8 billion. And so a lot of companies, I see a lot of people on social media saying, well, you know, I don't want to be on you know, Facebook anymore. I'm like, that's because you haven't cleaned up your house yet. That's all. You have to delete a lot of people. And I think, you know, y'all should delete a lot of people, uh, people that's not serving you right now, going into 2018 so you can make room for those who will. So uh, and you don't have to post it and stuff like that. You don't have to post and tell everybody, yeah, I'm about to get on this deleting spree. And, and I see people telling people all the time, I don't tell anybody. I just do it. And and just to let y'all know, shoot, I would say uh, probably no more than, probably a week and a half ago, I think I deleted about 150 people. And those people just not serving me, and that's okay. So I'm just in that, but I didn't make no announcement or nothing. And I've got to go through, and I have about 900 people in the queue that want to become, you know, uh, quote unquote associates or friends on Facebook. So I got to go through and delete a lot more people and, you know, add those people who may make an impact in my life or I may make an impact in theirs. And, Keep moving from there. You never know. So hold on. I'm walking, y'all. Mm-mm. Walking and talking and drinking something to drink. I gave y'all time. I gave y'all the, the second thing was, <clears throat> well, y'all already have that. I'm going to go to the third, which is I gave y'all just uh, Facebook. You know, get on Facebook. And this is like basic business building. You know, basic business building. Time. Let go of the TV, being on Facebook. Now, the fourth thing I would say is you need, need, need to start your business off the right way. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break this one down to say I don't know what you want to do right now. Let's imagine you don't have a clue, like right now. <laughs> like you have no clue what you want to do in business. And I have a few people I'm working with just like that. So my goal when I speak to people my goal is to see where they are. I want to know, you know, what you're passionate about. And, and a lot of people don't allow themselves to dream anymore. So you don't allow yourself to dream anymore, so it's hard for me to, to drill down to see where you are, what you love doing. And I hear people all the time say, you know, one lady just told me the other day, well, what do you think about insurance? I said, well, wh- why do you want to know about insurance? Because I was thinking about doing it. I said, are you passionate about it? He's like, well, not really, but some of our friends are doing it. Well, some of your friends are not going to pull you through or push you through so you can get to the other side. So if you do something that you're passionate about, something that you love doing, and literally something that you would do for free, but you do it so good that people will pay you for it, that's where you need to be. Now, I'm not saying that you can't do something that you don't love doing until you can get to that thing that you love doing. So that, you know, I would hope that, you know, even though you don't love doing it, you still do it because it's going to bring, uh, it's going to meet the needs or the current needs so you can get to the point to where you can do, you know, what you love doing. And that's okay. I think, you know, nothing's wrong with that. But I think a lot of us, we we listening to a lot of people who don't have our best interest and, and they don't give us uh, great information and they're kind of like probably in the same situation as us. And so they really can't see our vision because, you know, it was given to us and not them. And so a lot of people will 
may hold you back, and, and you will allow them to hold you back. And imagine if you hadn't stopped. What would you be right now? Imagine if you didn't quit on that thing that you were doing. What would you be right now? Imagine had you invested in Bitcoin back when you heard about it, back in like 2011 and 2012. Where would you be right now? How would life look for you? How would it look? I mean, are you pissed off that you didn't do it, or, or are you, you good with that? And I'm good with where I am because, you know, everything happens for a reason. I'm, I'm in Bitcoin, though. <laughs> you better believe it. And, and I tell people this, and this is not any type of legal advice or anything, and I'm not saying I'm a, if you're a CPA. I, I'm not a lawyer. That's not what I do. I, I don't provide legal information. All I do is provide some insights where you can go get the right information and find it out for yourself. But my thing is, if you're going to do it, you don't really understand it. What's $50 to $100? And let me give you my mindset on, on investing. So Jay-Z came out with his concert, 444, and everybody's breaking their neck to go. And I see some people that I know, like, up front, and I know those tickets like $700 plus. And that's okay. Some of them $2,000 a ticket. Now, <clears throat> I don't know what you did after the concert, or if you calculated the return on investment for you going and spending $2,000 plus on a concert for Jay-Z. And I'm not mad at Jay-Z. He's, he's a businessman. He's making business moves, you know, for his family. So imagine what's the ROI on you going to that concert spending $2,000. And I don't know if you did any research or anything uh, trying to figure out if it's, you know, carry to one and how much your return is going to be. But I, t I say that because a lot of people looking at Bitcoin the same way. So the same person who just spent $2,000 at a concert is looking at Bitcoin like, I don't know. Now, i got to research this thing because it's just not sitting well with me because I don't know. But those are the same people who went and got their hair done, went and got a new outfit, went and got uh, the new clothes and uh, the new shoes and, you know, the, the thing people don't really look at is when we decide to do an event, and I'm going to speak in broad terms right now. Now, I want you all to sit down for this one because I'm about to hit some people, and I may hurt some people, but, you know, it's all in love, and I want you all to really understand where I'm coming from. So this is what we do. When we decide to do an event, we have to go get everything from the new outfit, the new clothes, the new shoes. Uh, women, I know some of y'all getting your hair done for over $150 just to go. Then you still have to buy a ticket to that event that you're going to. Then you got to get the car clean. I know guys out there getting their car clean and spending time doing that. Everything is like on the up and up. And, and I would say just to get ready, you may be up to $350 to $400 just to get ready. And then on the other flip side of that, you haven't bought your ticket. And let's just say you bought a Jay-Z ticket. Let me just go at $700. You bought a Jay-Z ticket at $700. You already spent three fifty. dollars You had a grant with no return on investment. But you can turn around and look at something like Bitcoin and try to carry the one and try to figure it out and use, you know, your scientific uh, things that you're going to try to use to figure out if it's going to be a good uh, thing that you should invest in. And you're asking all these people, but you haven't made a move yet. And that's okay, that's, that's on you, but I would ask you, have you used that same methodology when you went to go spend all that money to go see Jay-Z? And if you haven't, I, I would ask why, because you got no return on investment for going to go see Jay-Z. But you can possibly get a return on investment for doing some type of investing. That's all I'm saying. Some people take offense to that. And, you know, that's just the reality of it all, and some of those people went to the concerts. <laughs> And you know, I don't, I don't sugarcoat this thing. This is our life. Our life is uh, is so precious, and we're responsible for four generations. And I'm just working hard so my four generations don't have to start where I started from. That's all I'm doing. So people can take offense to it. Uh, you know, people can say, well, he thinks he's this or he's that. I, I don't, I don't think I know what I what I bring to the table. I know how to help people, and I know what God has given me. So I just, I'm using the tools that he's given me. That's all I'm doing. And some people can take offense to that. Don't get mad at me. Get mad at him for giving me the tools. I'm just using what he gave me. That's all. And so if you take offense to it, you know, God bless you. That's all I can tell you. 
So that one thing, uh, that, that investing thing is, is huge in, in any respect for anybody out there so we can all move forward. And the other piece of the puzzle is as far as business is concerned, going into 2018 and paying off bills, find your niche. Find what you love doing, and then you have to turn it into a real business. Now, let me t- tell you how to turn it into a real business. You can go get a lawyer, uh, go get somebody to set your business up, or you can go to www.irs.gov, get you an EIN, get you a business name, get you a business email address, get you a business phone number, and you can get set up with the State Corporation Commission and get set up the real way so people recognize you as a, as a viable business, business owner. Get set up with Dun & Bradstreet. Get set up with 411. Get set up with these companies that recognize big business. Because nobody set out to do small business. We set out to do business. We set out to be business owners, get you a CPA so they can do your taxes for your company. It doesn't have to be a Starbucks. You don't have to get an Exxon, y'all. You don't, I mean, you could be an online business and still create income for you and your family, and you can create enough income to walk away from whatever J-O-B you have. That's what you can do. It's out there for the taking. I'm meeting kids at 18, I call them kids, kids at 18 years old making $31,000 online on automation. If a kid is 18 years old, a kid at 11 years old, and you got, oh, I know one guy, 22 years old, made $1.8 million online on automation, we can all do it. It's just that you haven't learned that you can do it. So that's what we have to do. So what I do is provide information. You know, like I said, I bring the people together. And it's all about connecting. When you connect with the right people and they can help you along that journey, you know, you can, be, you can become a monster. So along this journey, you're going to have to create some type of entity. I, I, I say talk to the legal folks, but, you know, in my opinion, depending on what type of business you're doing, you will go to a, a limited liability corporation and graduate to a S corporation, and there's so many different rules and regulations. That's why I say with a lawyer, they give you the, the scoop on that. Or come to one of my classes, and I'll give you the scoop. You know, I'm just going to give you my opinion because it's not legal advice. So I don't want to give that. I want to answer what Charles said. No, don't say that. Don't say that. So after you get that set up, and I brought up just one medium, and that's Facebook, one, one encounter with Facebook. And from that Facebook account, you have to set up your, your business page. From your business page, you can do marketing. And let me tell you how dynamic Facebook is. Let me tell you what we're not doing as business owners because I wasn't doing it before. I was marketing on Facebook, but I wasn't marketing effectively. I was boosting ads on Facebook, but I wasn't boosting ads effectively. So this is what I've been doing. So I can target somebody in St. Louis, Missouri, around the university area with a 10-mile radius. I can target a woman, that's a single woman that loves Les Brown, that likes to read, that drinks tea. I can target that specific woman in that area from the age range of 35 to 45 years old. Bam, and I can send an ad typically to those specific women in that area. And I can ask them, do they like this, yes or no? And I can capture their email address, right? I capture their email address on whatever thing I'm trying to work out and, and give to them. And so I have their email address. Once I have their email address, I can send them emails forever. Literally, I can send them emails, and it's either they're going to opt out of my email campaign or they're going to buy something that they may be interested in because they already gave me their email so they can get a free ebook on T or a free ebook on something for women in that age range. And that's what we're not doing. So let me tell you how dynamic Facebook is. So let's say I, I put out an ad and I, I reached out to 2,000 people and I put a video out there, a video ad. And I told these women, blah, 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 blah. This is a video ad. Do you want to be a part of it? Send me your email and I'll send you the free report. So out of 2,000 women that's in the Missouri area that is around the 10-mile radius of what I chose, 
let's say only 500 of them chose to say, chose to watch the video 75% of the way through. Crazy, huh? Facebook allows us to see who watched our videos and how much they watched of the video. So I'm going to tell Facebook, Facebook, tell me how many women watched this video 75% of the way through. Facebook's going to say, okay, you only had 500 people. Only I'll take 500. Imagine that. So 500 people watched the video 75% of the way through, and now I tell Facebook to give me a like audience. I say, Facebook, can you create me five more like audiences of the women who just watched my video? Who just watched my video 75% of the way through. So once I have that uh, like audiences, those five like audiences, I go back and send more information to see if they want to purchase or buy something that they were already interested in, interested in because they watched 75% of it already. So that's how you upsell. But let me tell you how this is the best part about this. This is all on automation, y'all. This is automation. I can set this, I can set everything up and have it automated to where emails just keep going out. I can have it all. All this stuff is automated once it gets up in, up into Facebook and, and set up into the sites that I have. So that's what I'm showing people. So imagine, you know, you have a product out there that's a $250 product. And so you have a $250 product out there, and what's on average is you may make 30 to 50% commission on the sale. And I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not good with math. So let's just say uh, for commission purposes, let's say you made $100 from each sale of $250. The, the company paid you $100 in affiliate fees, and you only had 10 people sign up out of the the, the 2,500 people that it went out to, you had 10 people sign up. So now you made $1,000 on automation. I don't think y'all heard me on that one. I said now you made $1,000 on automation. Now, would you send them out something again? You better believe we will. So if those 10 people just bought something for you from you, why not go in there and upsell them another product for probably 500 or maybe 350 So you can see if you can cop another, what if you got $50 from each of them, just from whatever product you tried to sell? Imagine that. You made another 500 bucks. So you made $1,500 just that month alone on automation. Now, that's only one product. Imagine you have a slew of products, and that's why these kids are making, at 18 years old, $31,000 per month. I, did I say per month? per month on automation, and that's what I'm teaching. <laughs> so my thing is that's one stream of my income, making money like that on automation, but I use that with my current companies with, with everything that I do on automation. Why wouldn't I? And now that you have your business set up and you're just going through that process right there, now you use that money that you, mean, you didn't really want to, you don't have a product or anything like that, but I'm pretty sure if I gave you a, a, a thousand products out there and I told you the commissions on all of them, you could pick three to five products and, and promote those uh, automatically by taking a link and putting it into, like, Facebook or your email. I'm pretty sure if, if I showed you how to do it. It wouldn't be that difficult. You can, uh, I can look at what the top products are being sold in the United States, the top products being sold in the U.S. I can show you those as well. And you can take that link and put it out there for the masses and see who wants it. Automation. No one can beat automation. And so this is a big reason I put this out. So you take that information, and let's say you wanted to open up a restaurant. So now you're getting money coming in. And, and I don't care if you just got $1,000 coming in. That $1,000 will pay a car note. That $1,000 can pay a cell phone bill. That $1,000 can pay something. And that's the bigger thing to pay the bill and then pay it off over time. Nobody told you to stop your job. Nobody told you to stop your business. But you, with this concept, you can put your business on automation as well. So this is something, uh, I don't know what I'm going to call it, to really setting people free from uh, financial strain that's out there right now. And, I mean, it's only going to get worse. I mean, taxes are still going to keep going up. Nothing's going to change with that. The only thing is that has to change is we have to change. 
you know enough of what you know right now to get you to, you know, what you have right now. So you have to get new information in your computer so you can do something different. Or everything for your 2018 will stay the same, just like your 2017. And if you didn't like 2017, if you don't do anything different, it's going to stay the same. So that's why I bring up what I bring up. And that's why I help people because I see I see the bigger picture because I've been there. I've been broke before. Nobody can tell me about being broke. I'm just a product of the projects, but my mindset has changed. So that's why I move with where I move, and I move with uh, passion, and I move with urgency because right now it's an emergency. <clears throat> Some people don't get that. You know, we're, we're playing around with this thing called life, and it's truly it's in an emergency like right now. We're sitting at a time where we can change lives. We're sitting at the one of the probably the best times due, just due to technology and how we can work literally from home or work from anywhere in the world because we have the Internet, but a lot of people are not taking advantage of it. There should be nobody without a job right now or without a means to, to collect money coming in just due to the Internet alone, just due to the Internet and what we have access to. And it's just that most people haven't gotten up to go get the right information from the right people and haven't taken the right action, and that's why they're kind of stuck at, uh, you know, where they are. So it's all about what you want to do and how you want to do it. And, and you can wait, you know, wait and take your time and do everything that way. Or, But I don't think anything good is going to come of waiting. You know, some people say they're waiting on God. I hear that a lot. I'm waiting on God. Nope, I'm waiting on God. Let me tell you something. And everybody knows this. And on the seventh day, he rested. You have to keep telling yourself that, y'all. What does that mean? Like, truthfully, what does that mean? And what it means to me may be a little something different for you. What it means to me is on the seventh day he rested. That means that he put in a lot of work those six days prior. He put in a lot of work those six days prior. So he allowed himself to rest on the seventh day. To me, in those six days, he did everything he had to do. That's why he rested. And so a lot of people say they're waiting on God when in turn God is waiting on you. He's been waiting on you all this time. I believe it's six degrees of separation. We're, se- we're separated by like six people you may have not reached out to that know somebody that knows somebody that knows something about it that you haven't reached out to. He put everything in our grasp. We have the, we have the ability to reach everything he's given us. But we, what we do is we get to the door and we don't even open it because it got hard. We start running the race and we stop because our legs start hurting. We start driving on the road of life, and we just pull off. And people coming by, honking horns, and all you're doing is waving them by. Nope, I'm good, y'all. Y'all go ahead and go. I'm just going to stop right here. I'm good. It's just like pulling over with the blinkers on. There's only a short amount of time to get this thing called opportunity, and opportunity is everywhere. Please don't believe that you have to be in Atlanta. Please don't believe you have to be in New York or L.A., You have to create your own. Create your own opportunity because it's knocking on the door. You have just failed to answer the door. You are not waiting on God. God has done everything he had to do in the time that he set himself up to do it in. Stop. Please stop. You're waiting on you. You're waiting on you to get out. You're waiting on you to make a move. You're waiting on you to get out of your way. You're waiting on you. That's it. Why are you? Nothing else. You can't blame your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, your husband, your wife, your kids, your job, your whatever situation you're in. Stop blaming people and just put it all on you 100% and then get up and then move. But move with a purpose. Nothing comes for doing it slow. Everything is speed. Success loves speed. Get there. That's the best thing you can do, and you can start, like, right now. You don't have to wait till next week, and you don't have to wait till the 15th of of January because most people are going to quit on 22 January. All those people who are making all these things up, they're going to quit. That's just what's going to happen. My name is Charles McCutcheon. My email is C-H-A-R-L-E-S, the letter M, C 
speaks, S-P-E-A-K-S, at yahoo.com. I'm showing people how to do exactly what I just gave you. But you have to want it for yourself. And I'm going to put you to the Pepsi challenge. You will put, get put to the test here. I will guarantee I will not allow anybody to waste my time because I have 100% of it. And I'm passionate about what I do. But my, my goal is to help, it, help the many. To help the many. That's all I can do is help the many. I want to thank Ms. Kimmy. I want to thank Elation Radio, Elation Magazine, Elation TV, and everything else that Elation is coming with. And I'm going to pray us out. Father God, thank you for allowing me to come here and just give the people a piece of me. Father God, look on to those who have nothing. Look on to those who want more insight and inspire them to get up and move and use everything that you have given them already to be successful and succeed and then go out and help somebody else out. In your name we pray. Amen. God take it easy. Great.